We've got a Hoya pot of gold in the cutest little pot. And really been enjoying. Oh, shoot! What is up, my plow me, my plant homie? Welcome. I am so excited and grateful that you're here. Welcome to my sunroom, my unofficial sunroom plant tour. I'm gonna be honest, I, I am so not ready for this because I wanted it to look perfect, everything repotted, everything fully decorated, but real life is messy. All of this is messy. There's dust and leaves and dog hair on the floor, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. If we're just first meeting, hey, my name is Sharina. Welcome to my sunroom. So let's just get started. That was weird. <laughs> let's go. Can we take a moment to appreciate the real woman form? Look at this beautiful vase, or for you fancy people, this vase. And this is um, just a vase, but I went ahead and put a tube in there so it can turn into a propagation station. And look, look at the Peperomia rubella that's in there. There's a little leaf floating around because I, I wanted it to. I pushed all of the cuttings down to make it upright and broke a whole bunch of the leaves. So yeah, not, not shocked that I did that, but how beautiful is this? Okay, so let's get started. Let me put her back though. She's heavy. We are gonna get started right over here on these shelves because this is where most of the plants reside. Did I mention that this is all west-facing window? So all these windows from there and all the way around is west-facing, which means very harsh, very bright. So selection is key when picking exactly what goes on in these shelves. And it took me a really long time to get to know what will do well here. So I've got to give it to myself. Kudos to me because a lot of things weren't doing well here. Okay, so let me show you the ones that do love it here. And in case you have a bright area in your home, um, you'll see exactly what will do well there. We're gonna go ahead and get started right over here at my beautiful <laughs> variegated string of hearts that you have heard me talk about a lot, okay? I got this three years ago at the Rose Bowl flea market for $10 which I have a whole video about. Um, in case you haven't seen it, I'll put it right up here, but don't go there right now, go there later. So I have been taking care of this and loving this, but last year kind of neglected her for a bit. And this sunroom has really extreme temperatures at night. During the winter, it got really cold and then it got really hot in the day. Didn't really pay too much attention and she started dropping leaves, but she is coming back strong with so much new growth right on top. And I'm also planning on propagating a bunch of this and then replanting it right on top. So I'm seeing so much new growth and it's even more purple and beautiful and plump than ever before. Also, one thing that I'm doing is not waiting till it's 100% dry till watering. I'm actually maybe 60-70% dry. I feel the soil and then I just water it. I bottom water most of my plants in here because I want to make sure that the soil is fully the soil. <laughs> the roots are fully drenched that they are thoroughly watered. So, I've really been enjoying doing that with everyone here. Some hoyas that I just want to quickly point out. I'm not really sure which one this one is. I think Hoya 79, this was a number, wasn't doing anything for like two years. And recently it just popped out these two leaves right there on top and these right here. So here's my shadow, hi. Here's my Diune Spinulosum right here. Also didn't do anything for months and this week popped out this brand new beautiful beautiful leaf right here it is absolutely gorgeous i love the structure i love the shape those other leaves are harder ow that kind of hurt and i love how it looks in this beautiful pot i've really been enjoying pairing some of these plants with really interesting pots just changes up their look a little bit 
Carolinieris right here. Hoya Crimson Princess, and look at this. This is my beautiful Hoya Curtisii that just like my variegated string of hearts, I've actually been paying extra attention to it and giving her some extra care because I think it is such an underrated, beautiful plant with this really unique spade-shaped leaves. Um, it's slightly sun-stressed, as you can see, it's kind of purplish or burgundy with those markings being really, really prominent. Oh, Cartesii are so gorgeous. The leaves are also slightly fuzzy and I love the back side of it. Really, really cute. If you get a chance to get a Hoya Cartesii, they're pretty slow growers, but I mean, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? And right here, this was a plant that I've always loved. I used to visit it at my local nursery before and decided to finally, finally get one because I knew that this was a plant. This is a wax ivy, by the way, or a Senecio macro something. I'm going to put it right here. Um, and look how cool it is. She's a very, very thirsty one. I water this maybe twice a week, actually, lately. Since it's been pretty warm, since now we're in summer, I've been watering everything two times a week, I think, here. Okay, anyways, this wax ivy is so beautiful. Usually when there's new leaves, they're fuchsia, but um, this is just popping out regular variegated, you know, white and green leaves. But I have to point out one interesting thing about this one is I think, and a, a commenter actually pointed this out, I wish I can remember his name, um, he mentioned that I had two kinds of variegation on this. I had the one with the white on the outside type of variegation. I'm not showing you a good example, but as you can see with this one, the variegation is on the outside and it's green inside, but I also have the one where where the outline is green and inside is whitish yellow so those are two different kinds of variation that's on this wax ivy and i think that's so beautiful right below are some more hoyas we've got a retusa one of my favorites um, actually, that one's a Peperomia that I got from Home Depot. Beautiful Peperomia graviolens with oh, such cute, adorable taco-shaped leaves and red stem, also red bottoms. Really cute. But I have to show you how beautiful this classic Hoya pubicalyx is looking. Look at that. Look how splashy that is, right? I know this is a classic plant. You can probably find this at your local big box store. But when I saw this and I just saw how splashy it was, I had to have it. And this is actually, I'm gonna make sure I don't drop anything. Look at this. This is actually one of my faster growing Hoyas. And look how dirty. I have them all in plastic saucers, so it's easy to to bottom water, but how gorgeous is that? How adorable are these Hoya Bella flowers? These have been here for about, I wanna say a week. So they're lasting a pretty long time and they're so adorable. This is a variegated Hoya Bella that's, you know, not not doing the greatest, but it's also not doing the worst. Living in sphagnum moss and needs to constantly be <laughs> wet. And I don't know, I haven't decided if I wanna transfer it in soil. It's been in here for like a year or, or more. Um, but these flowers are just, I think Hoya Bella flowers are so adorable. Hoya Bella, overall variegated, non-variegated, is just so cute. And I'm gonna put this one back carefully. And you can see that I've got a little 
um, Hoya and Peperomia moment going on right here. They're really teeny and cute. I just showed these Peperomia, not Peperomias, I just showed these Hoyas in my video last week. We've got the Hoya Globulosa. Beautiful, interesting looking leaves, beautiful veins, slightly wrinkled. <laughs> Hoya, Ho I'm gonna say this right. Hoya Horschkiliana, I don't even know if I said that right, and a Peperomia prostrata, but let me show you one of my other pride and joys, which is this beautiful variegated vanilla planifolia, and this is the Albo version. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I don't think I can do anything wrong with this one. Well, she's a little a little sun bleached, but I mean just so beautiful that white outline, shiny waxy leaf. Ah, this is this is a dream plant, okay? So Vanilla planifolia, I've always been a fan of and when I saw that there was this kind I, I knew I had to get this one. Look how gorgeous. So beautiful. Hi, hello, I'm back. Also, free Britney girl. Okay, so this one is no stranger to my videos. This is my beautiful Dyskidia ovata watermelon. I've shown this so many times before. She got a little sun stress. I ignored a few things in here. I take full responsibility, but I think she is coming back strong. Look at all those flowers. This has never been without any flowers. Look at the beautiful sun-stressed leaves also. They're red, they're purple, and it's just so happy and always growing. And oh my gosh, just one of my favorites. It's getting so full and so big. to show you this beautiful so adorable silver glory with its butt shaped silver leaves and purple backsides this this actually has been growing really fast and I, I don't know I wasn't sure how it would grow in here but I think it's doing pretty well already trailing love this one it's so so cute we've got a peperomia hope right here <laughs> very long little sun bleached but coming back strong but take a look oh my gosh i have to show you this take a look at this beautiful it's tangled uh oh hold on let me fix it okay i got it untangled but what in the heck look how cute and how much this hoya sunrise or i think it's a sunrise we're not sure doesn't matter how much this one is growing. I want to find a picture of what this looked like when I got it because it was just two leaves. I think it was also only, yeah, it was two leaves and it was green. And ever since this one's been living in here, it's been beautifully sun stressed with those veins. I always say it looks like it's glowing because it really does, right? That beautiful red color. This is so beautiful and I'm gonna be saying that <laughs> so many times here got more blooming Hoyas here this one belongs to my Carnosa that's back there Hoya blooming season in full effect right oh wait I have to show you this This is my super adorable Begonia Peltata and it's so unique. Have you ever seen a Begonia like this? I'm not even going to tell you how long it's been propagating. It's been in here for so long that I can't get the plant out. I'd have to break this, <laughs> this bottle here. But oh my gosh, the most unique Begonia or one of the most unique Begonias you'll ever see because one, it is hard. It feels like a Hoya. It feels like a Peperomia, which is such a huge contrast from the begonias that we're used to with really thin, almost flimsy leaves. This one is very, very hard. And this one's also fuzzy. 
Um, I think this reddish or pinkish leaf right here is sun stressed. Um, I broke one <laughs> earlier. So now we are on the other side of the sunroom. Also, it's very small, okay? It's like a rectangular shape. It's hard for me to explain, but it's a small room. There's not much width to it, but it's it's pretty long. I wanna show you the other side where I have all my propagation stations right here on the wall. We really try to utilize the space a bit with just putting mounted plants some hanging plants right on top and also just putting this right over here against the wall just so you know no space is wasted if you're enjoying this video do me a favor and give me a like girl and if you haven't already subscribed it really helps my channel out and i really appreciate you for being here okay let's look at the other side and here you can see my messy and dirty sorry <laughs> Propagation stations, they're mostly Hoyas. We've got a beautiful Calistophylla that I recently put back in water because it wasn't doing well in soil, but now the leaves are looking more vibrant and they're also a lot harder than what they looked like before when they weren't in water. I don't think it was ready to be in soil yet, but um, right now I think it actually might be ready to go back. So doing really well and also a couple of things that probably shouldn't be in here but they are and they're doing really well is this mandula pothos look how beautiful mandula pothos are they just have such a unique leaf shape and that variegation with that just cream colored dark colored i don't know it's just pretty okay and i really really want to show you all of these right here <laughs> so i've shared this quote many times before this is by a business philosopher his name is jim Rohn. one of my favorites don't wish it was easier wish you were better and this is something that i always always try to live by instead of wishing that things would just ease up or get better i try to improve myself because for the most part you know things are just gonna be really challenging and they're not always going to get easier so it's up to us to just grow from it and learn right anyways peduncle alert right there these were flowering and now are giving my <laughs> oh my gosh giving my curtains all these stains so i need to do something about that but look at this beautiful should I even try to say what this name is? A Apercocolicaria decari or elephant tree that I've shown before in my video and this is growing so much FYI this is a succulent and it's growing very fast because it is again very bright in here that's so beautiful that's a unique thing for me I never thought I would get something like this let alone a succulent girl but I am just obsessed with it it's so cool, right? This is a Sinengia. Am I saying that right? Sininga? <laughs> Sininga means sneeze in Tagalog, but I'm obsessed with this one. Another codex plant. Um, those are some codex plants that I haven't shown you yet, but this is amazing with that beautiful fuzzy leaf like serrated can you can you kind of see how fuzzy it is also look at this pot again I, I'm gonna mention that I'm, I'm really enjoying pairing cool pots with these plants especially codex plants since there's so much structure they look so good with that so this is this is a new favorite of mine so pretty put this down right over here we've got a ficus religiosa which is really interesting because it kind of looks like little stingrays right so cool seriously such an interesting begonia the begonia drege or the bonsai begonia classic begonia leaves thin polka dots just so cute but it's a codex and i've been keeping this moist so this is one of those that likes to stay pretty moist not letting it dry out and um, hoping that it does well here 
And I know you see this little dangler. <laughs> that sounded weird. Um, this is my other variegated string of hearts that is now finally trailing. Yes, I have two. This one is from Succulents Mario. Plump, juicy, huge leaves. These leaves are so much, so much better than my other one. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, and it's on a stand. Let me show you. So I've got these set of plants in this corner right here on a plant stand that I got from, I think Marshalls? Yeah, from Marshalls. And it's really cool because I feel like it kind of, it's kind of like space saving in a way because it's minimal. Like it's just literally just a pole and little pots sticking out. So I don't know, hopefully you'll find it at Marshalls if you want one of these. And of course, my <laughs> Home Depot, Hoya Australis Lisas, and they're actually growing, growing pretty well here. Just beautiful. I love when the Hoya Lisa, Australis Lisa has new leaves because they're bright red. Hold on, let me see if I can show it to you. Look at this. And just a couple of my hanging plants. I have <laughs> removed most of the pothos and philodendrons. Well, I have a couple still that weren't doing that well here, but we've got a silver dollar vine. I've had this for years, three years, I think. Trailing, growing beautifully here. This is unique. It's adjusting and now it's finally growing. Doesn't look that cute right now, but um, this is a Seropegia sandersonii. They have really cool flowers, okay? Right now it looks weird. <laughs> and we've got a Ripsalis right up here. I wasn't sure how this was gonna grow, but it's doing well. It's grown so much. I've had this since the beginning of the year and it's getting really long. Ripsalis is really cool. I, I feel like I would love to get more Ripsalis like this they're very easy to take care of and I love the chain link um, growth pattern that it has. Definitely still a work in progress. I'm gonna be moving some things around, adding some things, so it's always gonna change. So we'll, we'll have multiple sunroom official and unofficial <laughs> messy sunroom plant tour. If you wanna see any other videos exactly like this, they are right up here on the screen for you. Give me a like and subscribe and I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one.